Guys, today we are going back in time. As you see up on the screen, I downloaded NBA 2K18, and we're gonna re-simulate the 2018 season here on 2K18 and see who would win. But I am so excited. I know you guys are too. It's gonna bring back so many memories. And as we get to the startup menu, guys, this is a special game for me because back in the day on 2K18, this is when my simulations started blowing up and getting recognition. So, I mean, I really enjoyed this game. I know a lot of you guys might have not enjoyed it because of the mic here, but besides that, every other aspect of this game was so much fun. But anyways, as you see we go to the my league right now and so guys we are on 2k18 so the 2018 rosters are here we're gonna go over them before we get ready to simulate the season but let me tell you everybody seemed to hate this game back in the day but as far as i remember it being it was a great game because i did a bunch of simulations i enjoyed the my league obviously the my career wasn't so good but let me tell you again the my league was one of the best ever out of all the years we're doing simulations 2k18 might have had the best gameplay the best moment and let me know down below what was your favorite 2k i want to see all your comments below my was either 2k16 or 2k13 maybe even 2k11 that was a great game but looking at the rosters here's the cavaliers of lebron james thomas love crowder remember at the all-star break lebron james traded half his team i think for like jordan clarkson and some other guys as we saw the boston sellers with Kyrie Irving, gordon hayward the clippers with blake griffin deandre jordan and the 2018 season was such a weird season i'm getting nostalgic vibes it was a pretty fun year i mean of course obviously kevin and the golden state warriors beat the cavaliers man i did not like the golden state warriors at all when they had k I just hope they lost every year but now as I get older I kind of remember those times and I appreciate watching great basketball as we see look at the Utah Jazz with Gobert then we see the Sacramento Kings now guys the Kings are a two seed in the West they have came a long way as for Zingas and Carmelo on the Knicks Knicks fans you guys remember that and Lakers fans do you remember this squad Lopez on the ball Caldwell Pope Julius Randle a young Brandon Ingram and so guys again we're just gonna simulate the 2018 season here on 2k18 to see who would win and of course let me know down below what are your predictions are so you gonna go with the Warriors or are you gonna go with the Cavaliers or maybe even another team? I mean, you never know what to expect in these simulations. As look at Jokic at 22 years old. I mean, he was an idiot overall at that point. Then we see Miles Turner, Anthony Davis, and Demarcus Cousins on the Pelicans. I mean, back in the day, those guys were beasts. As we see Andre Drummond, Avery Bradley, Tobias Harris on the Pistons, the Toronto Raptors, of course, with DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, Jonas Valanciunas, Serge Ibaka, the Houston Rockets, James Harden, and CP3. Man, was this team so close to winning. They went to game six game seven against the warriors and that was with kd i mean they almost beat that team they just couldn't get it done as we see a young devil booker on the phoenix suns with bledsoe of course the okc thunder with paul george and westbrook also stephen adams on that squad the minnesota Timberwolves of carl towns and then jimmy butler I mean, that was such a short era for Jimmy Butler on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then we see the Portland Trailblazers with CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard at a 90 overall. And then we have the Golden State Warriors, a team that won this year. And look how good they are on paper. Durant, Curry, Thompson Green, Iguodala, and of course, John Wall and the Washington Wizards. And John Wall was a dog back in his prime. But we are right now going to simulate to the end of the season to see which teams will make the playoffs in this re-simulation of 2018 on 2K18. So let's get there right now. As Russell Westbrook wins the MVP for the Thunder, averaging a triple double and that's more like it i mean russ back on the thunder was amazing as we see lonzo ball rookie of the year for the lakers with 13 points i hope he gets better i know he's been injured this year and he might be injured for next season as well as andre drummond wins defensive player of the year and then we see the first team all nba back in 2018 westbrook harden onto the Kumpo, lebron james and demarcus cousins on the pelicans and let's take a look at the all nba rookie team it's lonzo ball ben simmons on the sixers josh jackson from the suns oh my goodness what happened to josh Josh Jackson, guys, anybody in the comments, let me know. Ted Dossages, oh my goodness, I pronounced that definitely wrong, but do you guys remember that guy? He was a beast on the Clippers. I'm not sure what happened to him as well, but look at the points per game leaders. DeMar DeRozan is number one with 29 points. But now going to the rebound leaders, it is Andre Drummond with 12.9. I mean, unbelievable. He was one of the best rebounders in the NBA back in the day. We see Whiteside in there as well. I'm not sure what happened to him. He is on the NBA at the moment as well. And assists per game goes to Chris Paul leading it. And we see Russell Westbrook and Lonzo Bowles third in the lead for assists on the Lakers. As now we get to the NBA standings in the 2018 standings, it is the Cleveland Cavaliers with the one seed with LeBron. Then we got the Raptors, the Wizards, the Miami Heat, the Detroit Pistons making it with 41 wins. Then we see the Hornets, the Pacers, and the Celtics making it with only 38 wins. So back in the day, it seems like the East is still not good on the simulation as the Brooklyn Nets, Orlando Magic, and New York Knicks finish last. And going to the West, we see the Warriors 65-17, and 17, the number one seed. And then we see the Houston Rockets with James Harden and Chris Paul. 
Ball, the Clippers, the Thunder, the Blazers, the San Antonio Spurs, the Timberwolves, and the Pelicans will get the ACs that Denver Nuggets with Jokic barely missed out. But some things don't change. The West is still better than the East. And then we see the Grizzlies finishing last with 27 wins. But guys, it is now time to get this playoff simulation underway as we are re-simulating the 2018 season on NBA 2K18. You see the official playoff bracket. So last chance to get your comments down below on who you think is going to win it. All these games are simulated live here on NBA 2K. So without further ado, the road to the finals will begin here in the very first round. So sit down, sit back, relax, go grab your favorite snack, and let's get this simulation started. Here we go. We're going to begin off the first round with a sweep. It is the Golden State Warriors of 2018 knocking out the Pelicans in four games. And I thought this would be a closer series as Stephen Curry is still a glitch on 2K. But anyways, down goes Andy Davis and DeMarcus Cousins as the Golden State Warriors will move on. As now we have a close game in Minnesota. It is the Houston Rockets trying to knock off the seventh seed in a sweep as well. So Houston, can they complete the sweep or can the Minnesota Timberwolves force a game five? As the shot clock's down to five seconds, Capella to Paul. Down in the two seconds, step back, jumper, it's pure! CP3, a big time shot, and the Rockets are hype as they're now only about one stop away from maybe clinching a sweep in the first round. 20 on the shot clock, here's Jeff T, down by one, it goes to Jamal Crawford, now it goes to Wiggins, Wiggins is shot and rolls in! What a wild bounce, time out Houston with 16 seconds, and a chance to win the series. Here we go, 11 seconds remaining, now 10. Shot clock is off. Fans on their feet. Look at Paul going for Capella. Oh, he puts it down. No timeout to the Wolves. Going up the court. Capella still celebrating. Wiggins, Pump takes it for the win. Rims out. It was almost down, and the Wolves will fall in a sweep as Chris Paul and Capella wins the series in four. What a well finish. As now it's DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry of the Toronto Raptors over the Indiana Pacers in five games, 106 to 88 year final. So can the Toronto Raptors get to the NBA Finals in today's simulation? Well, they are one step closer with a five game series win over Indiana. And guys, I simulated too fast, but it is the OKC Thunder where Westbrook and Paul George over Damian Lillard and the Pacers in five games, winning game five, 85 to 79, a low scoring game, but Russell Westbrook 33 and 16 gets it done as the Blazers are going home. And now off to Detroit. It is the Miami Heat looking to close up this series against the Pistons. Dragic at the line misses it. And the door is still open. It can only be a three-point game if he makes it. And the Heat are up 3-2 in the series. Looking to close out six. Dragic, he's got the second. Pistons at a timeout. 13 seconds. Series, C's on the line. Here they come. Bradley goes to Jackson. Puts up a three and puts it in. Reggie Jackson from downtown. Seven seconds. And we are all tied up. Will the Heat win the game? Well, let's find out. Six seconds. Here's Dragic. Four seconds. Driving the jumper. Off the mark. Rebound Marjanovic. His shot almost goes in. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, we are going to overtime in Detroit. And as we get to overtime, 13 seconds. Heat down by one. Another chance. Can they get it done to win the series? They have multiple opportunities. Here we go. Dragic miss at the end of regulation. Will he go again? Yes, he does. And he misses again. Going Dragic can't find the mark as the Pistons will force a game seven. And this series isn't over just yet. We will get back to that Detroit-Miami series in a couple, but now we're going to go to Boston. It is the one seed the Cavaliers with LeBron James the dagger over the Boston Celtics with Kyrie Irving, 111-98 in game six. So the series went in six games, but ultimately Cleveland gets it done, and they'll be moving on to the second round of today's simulation. But now a game seven in Washington. It is the Hornets up by one, 37 seconds. Who's moving on? Gorton against Dwight Howard. Finds an open pointer. Bang! He connects on the three point. Corner. Wizards have a two-point lead. Fans of Washington on their feet. What a play from the Wizards. But now here come the Hornets. It's Malik Buck with 26 seconds. Looking to get the tie or go for the lead. It's got to go to Walker. And now it does. Kemba Walker against John Wall. And now back to Malik Buck. Has been isolated between the legs. Driving right. Jumper on its way. Hits the back iron and falls through. Malik Monk ties the game with a big time shot as here come the Wizards the other way. With eight seconds, looking to win the series and we're going to overtime. Whoa, crossover on Walker. Going right. Whoa, goes up with the left and he puts it in off the glass. Oh 
my goodness, John Wall with 1.3. No timeouts. Walker's full court shots gonna be goals. And not almost winning as well, but the Wizards have won this series thanks to John Wall and Dow gonna hold it in a heartbreaker. And as we go to LA, we're gonna see the San Antonio Spurs with Kawhi Leonard, Tim Duncan knock off the LA Clippers in a game seven. And so how about this upset? Did anybody see it coming? The only people who saw it coming were the Clippers fans because this has happened so many times before. But anyways, I'll go to the Spurs and down goes the Clippers. And so we saw Detroit force game seven on Miami and they're gonna go to Miami and beat them coming back with a three to two deficit. So how about the Pistons as Goran Dragic had multiple opportunities to win game six, but they couldn't get it done and now game seven Seven, Reggie Jackson leads the way and the Pistons will advance on to the second round but now guys on the conference semifinals for today's simulation here on NBA 2k18 how do you guys like the simulation does it bring back some memories or do you guys like it do you enjoy it let me know down below I'm having some fun but anyways let's continue this video right now so sit down sit back relax and let's see who's moving on here we go And so we're going to begin in San Antonio where the Houston Rockets will get a sweep over the Spurs. So back-to-back -back sweeps for Houston as San Antonio will be going down. 8-0 in the playoffs for the Rockets. Can they continue their mark on the Western Arts Finals as they're going to be moving there right now. And so what a run it was for the Detroit Pistons. But they will go to the second round and be swept by the one-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers with Isaiah Thomas, LeBron James, Jerry Smith. So down go the Pistons as Cleveland is heading back to the Eastern Conference Finals with a 110-101 win. But now we got a close game. It's OKC with a 3 to 2 series lead over the one seed of Warriors. Can they get the upset? As Westbrook's jumper is no good. Rebound, and here comes Curry looking at 4 7. We're in overtime. Curry, Thompson, open three. Shot is up, and it is no good. All the rings don't like the Warriors here in OKC. 23 seconds. Can the Thunder take the lead? Westbrook, no good. Rebound, Adams, up and in. Steven Adams with 18 seconds, and the Thunder are one stop away from the upset. Fans are on their feet, they're going crazy. Here's Thompson, he just missed a moment ago. It's gonna go to Curry and Durant. Eight seconds, now seven. Motioning is Iguodala. Clay still has it, goes to Curry, lets it fly. No good out of bounds, and that most likely should do it here in OKC as only 0.9 seconds remain. I'm the inbound, it goes to Westbrook, and it's all over. Down goes the one seed in the former 2018 champions, Warriors, as the OKC Thunder get the upset, and down goes KD and Steph Curry. As now the last series of the first round will go to the Toronto Raptors winning in six games, 124 to 107 and taking out the Wizards. I mean a close series here, but ultimately DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry get it done as they move on to play LeBron and the Cavaliers. And so four teams remaining. How are your predictions? But now we see the Rockets versus the Thunder and then the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Raptors. This 2K18 simulation has been so much fun. I'm actually enjoying it so much. I hope you guys are too. But anyways, let's simulate these card finals here on 2K. So here we go. Both card files go the distance as we enter the Eastern card files with the Cavs down one. Here's Smith. Puts in the three! J.R. Smith from way downtown. The Cavaliers have a two point lead with 49 seconds. It's way to go home. Can the Raptors finally beat the Cavaliers in the playoffs? It is their time right now. CJ Miles with 40 seconds. Miles goes to Ibaka. Ibaka defended by LeBron James. Tanner shot clock. He's got to get it going. Shot off nicely. Ibaka about Jonas. Fanaway J is no good. And the Cavaliers have it with 27 seconds. Toronto won't foul. And there's about a seven seconds. Second shot difference between game clock and shot clock as Smith goes to IT looking for the dagger. No good. Rebound Melanchonis. Here come the Raptors. 14 seconds. No timeouts. It's Lowry. Season on the line. Here we go. It comes down to this. Lowry to Miles. Six seconds. Miles has nothing. Goes to DeRozan. DeRozan draws to the jumper. It's no good. Cleveland is going to the finals as once again they knock off the Toronto Raptors this time in seven games. What a wild finish as the Cavaliers are going to the 2018 finals here on 2K18. And now the Western Conference Finals is going down the wire in Houston. It's a two-point game. The OKC Thunder have the lead here on the road. CP3 with 30 seconds. Now it's down to 27 seconds. Harden gets an open three. 
and that goes in. What is with the rules on these rim in the simulations? 24 seconds, timeout OKC. So who's gonna advance on to play the Cavaliers in the finals? As Paul George, 20 seconds, Thunder down one, draws to his Westbrook, now to Adams, now to Robertson, he can't shoot, 13 in the shot clock, and he takes it back out. Westbrook now takes the jumper, and that's gonna go in! Again, these 2018 rims are crazy. As that was seven seconds, here come the Rockets. Series is on the line, Horton, three seconds, Two, driving right, jumpers on its way, and it is good! It's gonna count! Unreal shot, rolls around the rim! Flashbacks of Kawhi Leonard against the Sixers, and James Harden at the buzzer! Houston is going to the finals! Unbelievable! One of the craziest game winners you'll ever see! And so now we are down to two teams here in this 2018 re-simulation on 2K18. It is the Houston Rockets versus the Cavaliers. So a new team in the West. So will it be Cleveland or Houston? Well, it's time to find out right now. So sit down, relax, and here we go. And how about this? It's going to be the Houston Rockets winning the championship in six games over the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James. It's over. We go back to 2018 on 2K18, and the Houston Rockets get the championship as Chris Paul and James Harden finally get a ring, and what a video today, guys. Going back to 2018, 2K18, it brought back so many great memories, so many great moments in today's simulation, and it is over. Let me know down below, how do your predictions go, bud? Hey, man, we might do some more throwback simulations. Let me know down below what you want to see next. But anyways, the celebration continues in Cleveland. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and all the simulations. It's Top Productions, and we out.